What's going on, YouTube? This is SG1 Sports, and you're watching our college football channel. We continue with our schedule preview and projected record series. Boston College is up next. Let's take a look at their schedule first from 2023. Uh, you look at the non-conference, they played Northern Illinois, they played Holy Cross, they played Army, and they played UConn. And this was one of the easiest schedules, really, in college football. They didn't play Clemson. They did play, did, did play Florida State and Louisville. Uh, they didn't play NC State. I mean, uh, they didn't, you know, th this this was just a really easy schedule. And I, I can't remember now, we had our rankings. This might have been the easiest schedule in the Power Five last season. Um, you can go back and check those rankings from last year, which we're about to do the new rankings uh, once we finish these schedule previews. We're going to give you the easiest schedules and the toughest schedules for 2024. Uh, but anyways, yeah, it was, it was a pretty easy schedule last year. This is a team that, with an average schedule, they probably would not have made it to a bowl game. Uh, but they were able to take advantage of the schedule and get there. You look at the 2024 schedule, going to be a little bit tougher, especially in the non-conference. They'll have Missouri on the road, also Michigan State, and then Duquesne and Western Kentucky, who's not a bad group of five team at all. So a pretty tough non-conference schedule. You look at the rest of their home schedule, Louisville, Syracuse, North Carolina, and Pittsburgh. Um, you know, they, they that's not a terrible stretch there with with those four teams uh, you feel like they'd have at least a chance against Syracuse North Carolina and Pitt Louisville might be a little bit tougher uh, but again home field advantage is a big deal you look at the road schedule it's at Missouri again we talked about that Florida State Virginia Virginia Tech and SMU pretty tough draw I mean Florida State obviously and then I think Virginia Tech and SMU are in the top half of the ACC and Virginia I think they're going to be improved enough to where that's going to be a tough game as well. So this is going to be a really tough road schedule for Boston College. They'll open up with Florida State on September the 2nd. That's going to be on Labor Day, Monday night. Uh, that'll be a big game there. Then Duquesne, a quick turnaround. They'll play them on Saturday. Then it's on the road at Missouri on the 14th, Michigan State on the 21st, and Western Kentucky on the 28th. Then they go into the month of October with a road game at Virginia. Then they get a bye week after Virginia and play a weeknight game on the road at Virginia Tech. That will obviously be a really, really tough one there. Uh, then Louisville on the 25th, Syracuse on the 9th. So their their next bye week is actually after Louisville. So their bye weeks come uh, pretty close together. And then Syracuse on the 9th, SMU on the 16th on the road, North Carolina at home on the 23rd, and Pittsburgh on the 30th at home. Now, like I said, this is a much, much, much tougher schedule than what they had last year. Uh, again, Virginia Tech on the road, SMU on the road, a tougher non-conference schedule. Uh, this is definitely going to be a challenge, I think, for them to get to a bowl game. But let's see what the projection looks like. First, we'll look at last year's projections. They were projected to go 6-6. Six and six. They did go 6-6. Six and six. I picked them to go 6-6. Six and six. So everything from here, uh, we were right on the money with Boston College. Uh, Athlon had them at 5-7. and seven. The over-under was at 5.5. And, and again, I, you know, if, if they had played an average schedule, I don't think I would have had them getting to 6-6. Six and six. I probably would have been closer to five and seven, but you had to just look at that schedule and see that it was a really easy schedule. Gonna be much tougher this year, like we said. Here's the scale that we'll use to get this projection. Uh, we've done this in every video. You can start with Duquesne, that's an easy win. Uh, they should be able to roll in that one. I'm gonna put Western Kentucky in the purple, actually. Hey, this is a good group of five team, and I don't know that Boston College is just gonna go out there and roll over them. Uh, I, maybe they're an eight or nine point favorite in this game, but I don't think they're gonna be a huge favorite. I can go ahead and tell you, though, if you put this game in the blue, it would not change the projection at the end of the day. Because I was back and forth on purple or blue in this one. But I'm going to give Western Kentucky some credit for being a pretty good group of five team. And then you look at games where I think they'll be about a touchdown underdog. We're talking about Louisville and SMU. Uh, Louisville is at home. SMU is going to be pretty good again. And that game's on the road. So I think that's going to be a tough one for Boston College. And even tougher, I think, will be Florida State and Missouri. And playing them both on the road. Uh, don't really give Boston College much of a chance in those two games. I think they will be double-digit underdogs in both of them. That's going to leave Michigan State, Virginia, Virginia Tech, Syracuse, North Carolina, and Pitt. I think these are your 50-50 games. Good news is you get four of those six games at home. Uh, but if they split those three and they beat Duquesne and Western Kentucky, that's not enough to get to a bowl game. So they're going to have to go four and two in the 50-50 games or... Uh, get a win against maybe Louisville or SMU, but the odds would say that they're going to do that and they're going to get to a bowl game. The projection is six and six, and the number was I think like 5.8, so we round that up to six and six. So they were actually closer to five and seven than seven and five. But again, our projection has this team making it to a bowl game. Me personally, I, I think that's going to be tough. Again, 
you, you look at these two games, Duquesne, Western Kentucky, I think they can win those games. Maybe Michigan State, maybe Virginia. I don't really see, you know, Virginia Tech's going to be tough. Uh, then you look at Syracuse, North Carolina, and Pitt winning three or two of those three. I just don't know that Boston College is going to be able to get there uh, unless they're improved a lot from last year. But the numbers, the the averages would say that this team would get there and get to six and six. Uh, do you guys agree? Do you disagree? Give me your thoughts on Boston College down in the comments below.